Hey Sagittarius, happy birthday. Happy birthday season, you guys. We are finally in Sag season. What's up? Woo! Okay, Sag, so your readings will be first all season long. So get ready to be spoiled. Oh, gone. Sagittarius, welcome back to the channel, you guys. Thank you for tuning in, Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter, Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, Sagittarius Singles. What's going on with you, my singles? What's up? It's your day. Thursdays are for singles. What's going on with singles? Happy Thanksgiving, you guys, as well. Ace of Wands. Okay, what else? Uh-huh. The Temperance Energy. The Empress is here. Page of Pentacles. King of Cups and the World Card. Okay. You may have a choice to make here. It doesn't have to be between two people and all of that. You just have a decision to make. Okay. Mm. Ace of Wands, your energy sitting right here in the middle with Temperance, Sag's energy, Taurus, Libra is here, Water Sign energy is here as well, Earth Sign. I feel like someone here, they have a lot of passion for you. Seeing you kind of as like a boss type figure. When I get the Empress, that's just like the Emperor. It's the, the divine counterpart of the Emperor. So it's all of that boss type energy, okay? You could be a boss where you are, <laughs> you know, in your career, in your life. You know, taking control of things, taking charge of things as a single and I feel like someone here, they could have a child. Someone coming in could have a child. They could be a parent that has their eye on you. Someone has a lot of fire and desire here. They could see you as waiting. Maybe you've had someone waiting to get an answer from you. Mm, that's what I feel with the Empress, the Temperance energy, and the Ace of Wands. It's like you could have this person waiting but they have a lot of feelings toward you with the King of Cups energy and the World card waiting to possibly start something with you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What is this? Hermit with the Queen of Swords, the Moon, and the Two of Wands. Finding you very mysterious. I feel like you could be doing this on purpose, though. <laughs> Are you in Hermit mode on purpose? Being mysterious, okay, with that moon card, you kind of like uh -huh, that this person is wondering about you or someone could be wondering about you. You may like to keep that air of mystery for some of you. Okay, show me this energy for single Sag. Five of Pentacles, okay. Oh, Moon reversed. Okay, Queen of Swords reversed. That just flew out in reverse. It's like someone wants you to open up. They want you to talk to them. That's what I'm saying. It's like you could be playing very mysterious. It could be a Virgo with the Hermit energy. Someone is wanting you to talk to them. They miss you. They kind of feel left out because they don't know enough. What is that moon reverse? Moon reverse for single Sag. Six of Swords. Hanging Man. Ten of Wands. So this person, they want to come in and talk to you. They want to make moves toward you. It could be a Pisces. But this person feels a bit overwhelmed when it comes to actually moving toward you. They could even be at a distance for some of you. I feel like this person... Like, I don't know if they get nervous approaching you, but there's something holding them up. It feels like a burden. What is the hang, hang up here? The strength card. It could be a Leo. Oh, okay. Both of these flew out. Uh, lovers with the Knight of Cups, Gemini energy, and the Knight of Cups. Yeah, it's like they have all of these feelings, very passionate about you. Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, holding back a lot. Why is this so difficult for them? What? Why are they having a hard time? Nine of Cups, 
Six of Wands, Three of Pentacles. Is this person, they may struggle with pride as far as them. They need to feel like this is going to be a, a sure win for them. If they come in, it's like they need to be sure that you're going to say yes to this date or yes to going out with them. Nine of Cups, Six of Wands, Three of Pentacles. Is Sagittarius going to say yes to me? They don't want to look like a punk in front of you. It's like, for lack of a better term, it's like they don't want to look weak. There we go. <clears throat> They're not wanting to look weak. Okay, let me ask this. How will Sagittarius feel about this person? How will Sag feel about this person? Magician. Okay, Gemini's energy. Okay, the full energy and the four of pentacles. <laughs> Oh, man. You may hold back on taking this leap of faith with this person because you still are thinking about someone from your past. You could have just came out of something. With the Five of Cups, you still have regrets over something or someone. So I feel like, okay, something just fell out. Judgment. Yeah. It's hard for you to get back into the dating arena or open up completely because I feel like you you still are thinking about someone or something from your past that didn't work out. Could be a Scorpio, yeah, with the tower. Some of you just came out of a breakup or you just experienced something possibly with a Pisces for some of you, high priestess. You just experienced something where you had like secret feelings for someone or you had a relationship with someone that didn't go anywhere. Yeah, it could have been an earth sign that you were dealing with, queen of pentacles. Some of you still hold a secret torch for this person. You're still trying to get over someone. That's what I feel. It, even though you may have someone here. Now, this could be someone coming back into your life. I don't want to focus on that, but that is a possibility. But I feel like this person... They like being around you, but they, they feel like they can't approach you fully because they don't want to be turned down. And then your energy is very restrictive. I feel like maybe they can intuitively pick up on your energy. So they could be a water sign. They could be very intuitive. Yeah. Who is this person? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. Who is this person for single Sag? Could be a Libra. <clears throat> Uranus could be Aquarius, could be a fire sign for some of you, like yourself, could be a Scorpio, and Aries energy with Mars, mm. Pluto, strong Scorpio coming through. Yeah, if they have Mars and Scorpio, this is a person who can definitely feel your energy and they will be fiery. A Mars and Scorpio is very fiery. And uh, Uranus and Libra is a very unique person, very different. This person is, I feel like they know how to read your body language. So if you're acting like standoffish with this person, this person knows, like they can like, they can read you like a book. That's what I want to say. <laughs> this person can read you like a book. What does this person want to say to single Sagittarius? You're not hiding much from this person because they can tell something is up. I'm so attracted to you. Yep. Love of my life. Woo. They see a lot of potential with you. And kissing you is all I think about. Wow. They want to kiss you. Mm -hmm. Okay, Sag. That is your energy for singles. I'm so glad you tuned in today. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedules with your family and friends on this holiday. Thanksgiving here in the United States. And again, happy birthday season. We're just getting into your season. So I hope that you are living it up and enjoying your time and celebrating your life. Take care. Bye.